Ace Nigerian filmmaker Nia Kimolayo has announced his upcoming psycho-thriller film called House of Secrets. Now, the Nollywood director released the first look images of the new project yesterday, tagging a few of the A-list actors on the film. Now, judging by the images being mostly in black and white, uh, the anticipated film is reported a dreamy romance drama and film noir, which is a cinematic term used for uh, movies that are mostly shot without color. Now, the plot details are top secret at the moment, but Akimolayo and um, Dolakwa Digu are reportedly credited as writers. Victoria Akunjobi is attached as producer, and uh, Barney and Mordi is director of photography. Now, cast would include uh, the incredible Kate Henshaw, there's Efe Rele, uh, there's Onajite Dede, there's Ane Icha, uh, Fulola Aofiebi, amongst others. Now, filming has reportedly kicked off here in Lagos, Nigeria, as part of the partnership between Akima Lions Ant Hill Studios and Prime Videos. Now, Nollywood hit films like Prophetess, uh, Day of Destiny, and Elevator Baby have previously enjoyed this exclusive licensing agreement. Now, speaking in the partnership, uh, Prime Video's Director of Content Acquisition and Head of Worldwide Major Studio Licensing Strategy, Ayana Lonian, had something to say. She says, uh, We are very excited to bring Ant Hill upcoming uh, state of popular Nollywood movies to Prime Video's customers around the world. We want to showcase the very best of Nollywood and authentic African stories to our customers, and this groundbreaking deal helps us to achieve that goal. Now, I mean, it's the beauty of collaborations, and also, I'm sure it's going to mean the context, uh, the context of the entire film would be a lot more splendid. We do have a thought, so let's watch this one and see what the, the, the teaser is about. Cool. Now, that's a short uh, teaser video available on, on socials. Uh, but we're also looking forward to more details coming out soon. Uh, right now, in fact, we don't know what the plot is like. Uh, but I'm a huge fan of Thriller, so I'm looking forward to that one. Let's move from film now to music, where Jamaican reggae and dancehall artist Rodney Basil Price, popularly known as Bounty Killer, has taken a swipe at Afrobeat's music genre in a recent interview. The now 50-year-old musician who believes there should be no comparison between dancehall and Afrobeats said Afrobeats has no lyrics. Well, let's watch that video and, and we'll come back and talk about it a little more. So that's why Afro leaning, Afro have topic, Afro, all right, Afro don't even have lyrics. Afrobeat don't even have no lyrics. They have a lot of melody, groove, and topic. Yeah, 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 yeah. That a lyrics? No, it's a topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know what yeah, 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 yeah mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those a topic and the melody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Style, melody. Now, making points like uh, people can't relate in every region and country, calling it music people don't understand, uh, the Nighty Star said Afrobeats has style, melody, and centers around the topic, but no lyrics. And in fact, he cited African giant Burner Boy's platinum record, Ye, as an example. Now, Bounty Killer, considered as one of the best dancehall lyricists of all times, went ahead to talk about the importance of creativity in music and how there's a difference between making music that suits your people and making music for the diaspora. Now, with 13 albums to his name since he kicked off his career in 1994, Bounty Killer has made his mark across the globe, earning a Grammy Award in 2002 and contributing on Hollywood film Blade. Now, I can't wait for us to talk about that one, but before we do that, how about we touch on the last story? On the international scene, American heavyweight rapper and record executive Shane Cobbs, or popularly known as Diddy, has just joined the list of A-list stars with a reality show. Now, news broke that the 53-year-old record producer and his seven kids will reportedly star in a Hulu reality TV series. Now, reports say a source familiar uh, with the project revealed the show is about the dynamics of the family, his kids, and all their businesses. Now, Diddy's children have carved out successful careers of their own, especially Christian, a.k.a. King Cobes, uh, who followed in his father's footsteps as a chart-topping artist. In fact, um, around November last year, Diddy and Cobes uh, set a record, becoming the first father-son duo in history to top Billboard's charts simultaneously. 
Now, Didi's Gotta Move On single topped Billboard's adult R&B airplay charts at the same time where his son King's Can't Stop, Won't Stop topped Billboard's R&B hip-hop um, airplay charts at the same time, which is just beautiful. Well, on his path to channeling black excellence, Didi broke news a week ago on his intentions to build a team to pursue ownership of BET Network, uh, pushing the narrative of the Black Entertainment Network to be black-owned again. As fans anticipate uh, the upcoming reality show, Word on the Street is it will tentatively be called DD Plus 7 and will hit Hulu sometime in the near future, as currently filming is going on in Los Angeles and Chicago. Well, I mean, I, I don't know, a lot of reality shows every now and then, uh, but it'd be definitely cool to see the personal life of Diddy, uh, someone being super successful.